<laughs> Hold on, I can't hear you. All right, hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. Episode number four. I just wanted to let you know that we are on our Zoom meeting right now. So I'm going to give everybody a moment to log in. I know that I've, I was getting the last moment literally questions like, where is the Zoom link? I have sent email and I have added you to the, to the information. So I hope everybody got it. Uh, now I have Kristen with me today and Kristen is on Zoom. So I would love for you guys to, uh, to take a moment and just log in here on Zoom. And yes, Kristen, how are you doing today? We're just gonna wait for them, for, for the participants. I'm gonna start recording. And yes, how are you doing today? Great, fantastic. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you for uh, for accepting the invitation. Now, I want to quickly introduce um, Kristen before we're going to start today. So Kristen is uh, a business owner, an entrepreneur, a coach, a mom, a wife. She has so many different titles, like we all, I think. Uh, so Kristen, yes, tell, tell a few words uh, about yourself, like what you what you've been doing, what you guys have been up to after even you can go back a little bit when you guys have the uh, the forward movement, right? The, the, the business and what do you been up to uh, nowadays? So I am Kristen, and yes, I am here in California. I moved here just about a year and a half ago from Idaho, and in Idaho, my husband and I owned a business. It was called Forward Movement Training, and it was a firearms, tactical, and like safety um, training center, and we trained law enforcement, and military, and also civilians. So. We grew that business for about six years, and we just sold it a year ago. We're coming up on the year anniversary this month. So, um, yeah, I was a business owner for those six years, and then we got an opportunity to move to California. So we took that opportunity, and we're here now, and I work at this beautiful little boutique gym um, coaching women right now, and that's what I've been doing for just – about a year and I love it I love coaching especially women I love coaching women I love helping them find their confidence and their inner strength it's so much fun um, and then currently I just I don't know fairly recently I guess within the past several months I've decided that I want to do something on my own so I'm trying to develop a program that's all based on like getting your mindset right, and then along with that is just those healthy habits, the fitness and the nutrition. So that's what I'm currently working on. This is awesome, awesome. We are here to cheer you up and vote for you because you wanna be fantastic. If you've never met Kristen, I hope you will have a chance one day to meet her because she just is a, a wonderful individual that will make you feel like welcome all the time and she will acknowledge all these things about you too. She will help you. She will push you to the next level. But at the same time, she just gives you that awesome comfort. So uh, I am so thankful to have you as my friend. And we met here in California, literally. We've met a year and a half ago. So if it's been a beautiful journey, just so you guys know, I see some people are watching uh, here on, on Facebook. I don't know if Kristen, you want to, you, you have a phone next to you, want to go on a Facebook and see who is there. I am going actually on my tablet and I have to tell you guys, listen, this, 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 um, uh, uh, all this, all these devices that going on nowadays, it's like everything changes and it's hard for me to pick up everything, but I'm just going, I'm going live and not even thinking how this is going to go. I'm just going to go live and figure this out. That's how it is. So I don't really see how many people are watching, but I see five of you and I strongly encourage you all to go on the zoom call so we can actually interact. Now, if you do not have a Zoom uh, link, the Zoom link is posted on that on uh, on top of the page. So the Zoom link is there. Now you can also post here and give your email, and I will make sure that every week you will be added. Right. So uh, yes, again, as, I don't know, Kristen, if you can see them right there. I am thinking maybe I should go on and see if you guys who is watching so I can send you maybe the link. 
because I really would like to speak to everybody individually and like really talk to you, especially that we have uh, such an awesome guest today. Yes, yeah, so I can see myself. Anna is watching. So Anna, I'm just going to put oh, in I the comments me. right now. I am po I, I'm going to post and I see Ita, uh, Dana is watching. This is awesome. So let me make sure that I'm just posting this link right here. So ladies, just admit yourself in the Zoom and let's chat because today is going to be an awesome topic. But for those of you who never, again, never met Kristen and maybe don't know what's happening here in California, it's like we both wives of the MDK project instructors. <laughs> that should be like a literally separate topic because this is something out of this world. We could have different, different topics to talk about uh, as a wife of the MDK instructors, correct? Yes. So, uh, so, so yes, again, I see you guys coming on. I, Kristen, do you see the girls over there? I see Arlene is watching. I see a couple of you are watching again. Please click on the link and join us. So today I am going to, to start with, um, with explaining to you why this page has been opened, why I have decided to do that. Based on what's going on in our today's world, the chaos, the, the problems, the, the create, really, the, the excuses grew above us. That's how I think, that they, instead of getting smaller, they always been there, now they even bigger. They are like mountains that are hard for people to climb on, not even thinking about just crossing them over. The pandemic puts such a pressure on so many people. And because I deal with this stuff every day, I battle other people's problems. And I've, what I've realized over the course of especially these few months, that I can take so many problems and for some reason I'm fine with them. I can handle it. So I don't know if I have such a thick skin or because I live with such a no excuses that even if I get more of this stuff from my clients, I become even stronger than I was before. Maybe because I see such a chaos and such a problem going on out there in the world, it makes me a little bit stronger. Maybe what, you, what you're going through is really making me stronger. That's what I was thinking that maybe that's the reason. So I figured that we need to, I need to open up and create a page that will help you and will guide you through and teach you how to become a no excuses lady, what it is to, to have the no excuses. So that's why I created this page. This On this page, we're going live weekly and I teach you the no excuses way. So you can, along the way, please take some notes, uh, join the Zoom again, because I don't see anybody joining still on the Zoom, girls. I see everybody staying on the live here and look, you can be you can be muted on the Zoom. You can have your camera off. It's all about just joining, so you can maybe put the comments, and eventually you can come on board and speak because that's what it's all about—the interaction. I see people going uh, here on Facebook, but I can't really interact with you. I can't hear your voice, and I we wanted to connect, right, Kristen? We wanted to connect. We so, want to see your faces. Yes, we wanted to see you, your faces, your expressions. So again, that's why I created this page. I want this to be something that will guide you, will mentor you, will give you some uh, point of support so you can battle these daily chaos that it's happening. And because what happens is you probably realize when chaos happens, the first thing in life, it's going to be your health. The first thing that you're going to start slacking is your nutrition. Of course, first is the mindset, and then it's the nutrition. The nutrition, the lack of time to uh, work out, everything else going to overpower your life. And I figured I have to share with you what I've been through, what I can teach you, and have these awesome guests on board like Kristen, uh, and others that will come on board who will give you the advice as well. So it's not only me. Don't think that I, I know it all. I don't know a lot of things. I don't know I, a lot of things. I don't know much. But what I've been through, I can teach you and share with you. So the same like Kristen. She will give you some examples today and she will teach you certain things. And guess what? You can come on board and you can speak as well. So I want this to be networking. 
Let's all come together as united women and learn from each other and support each other in this endeavor, in this journey, because this is going to be a journey for many of you. It's going to be required changes and applications and changing things and changing systems because we need to do that in order to change, right? So again, welcome you and thank you for spending time. Thank you for giving this, this page a shot because you don't know what it is. Maybe there's some freaking Russian from another country speaking different language. I don't know what she's going to be talking about, babbling some things, inviting some people that are from another planet. <laughs> we don't know. I just want to make you laugh a little bit. Listen up. Listen, uh, this page is for us. So share make sure that you are going to do your homework that video because this is all about interacting learning and you might come across someone who will help you i might help you but somebody else might help you right so of course the rules i always talk about about a little bit in the beginning rules and the announcements are at the at the top of the page so you get familiar with that and of course throughout the session what i would like to do i would like to see your comments so if you have no plan Again, I post the link in the, in, on, the, on the live Facebook page right here. Click on the link and join us on Zoom. But if you have no intention going on Zoom, I would like to see your post. So me and Kristen actually can see it today. We can uh, uh, reply to you and talk to you. Got, got it? Got it, everybody? Thumbs up. Something hard, something give me a thumbs up. Now, uh, today, topic of, the, of, of today will be the, the habit I need to develop versus the habit i want i think this is super interesting uh, and again every week is something different because in today's world almost seems like we need to develop a lot of new habits we need to especially it comes to health and fitness we need to develop them and work on the ones I want meaning and we're gonna go into this and I, I wanna I'm gonna put my glasses on so I make sure that I read this correctly and uh, we're gonna be speaking with kind of Kristen and interacting with you so since a lot of you've been struggling in developing the habits that's what I get from the consultations from talking to you all the time it seems like developing the habit of health fitness working out every day it's it's the first thing it comes to mind is always like this i don't have the time i don't have money i don't have space i i really i have so much going on right now and when you hear this you know that this is an excuse like think about it if you would come with a different attitude saying you know what no matter what i have the time i will create the space i will find the money I will do what I have to do to change my life and put my health as priority. Look how this sounds immediately. Like when you when you hear about this, correct, Kristen? What do you think? Right? Yes, you're you are so important, and the long, your longevity is important, <clears throat> and you being able to show up for your family, your friends, those who need you and who are counting on you. It's so important, and you can't put a price on that. So it is lower about it down. creating those habits and um, just it, it following through. We can make excuses all day long. I get up almost every day now at 4 a.m., and most people are like, you're crazy. Why, why do you get up at 4 a.m.? But that's a habit I've created. People say, oh, you must be a morning person. No, no, no. I was not always a morning person. I hated getting up early. But I created that habit because there are certain things that I want to accomplish. And sometimes those are easier to accomplish before everybody else is awake and before my day gets started. And it starts my day off right. So it's all about creating those good habits. And it takes time. And it's hard. And I still have days I don't want to get up. But I do. But so. you do. Exactly. And that's what she perfectly said. Um, it, it leads to prior, prioritization. Correct me if I am just mess up the word. Sometimes it's just happened. So prioritizing and thinking what, how, why, in this case, I need to get up in the morning uh, 
uh, why do I need to do? Maybe get by getting up in the morning, you're going to have that time to work out. Because if you know that in the evening you're tired after work, maybe your work schedule is chaotic and you work so many, such a long hours. Like I know that the health industry is uh, pretty much really suffering. Like a lot of nurses don't have time to work out because they have crazy schedule. Maybe your schedule is so uh, stressful that when you come home, the only thing you want to do is just lay on the couch. But look at this scenario. If you would, either way, you're tired. Either way, you're tired when you're coming home. So if you get up that hour earlier, you're going to put the time to work out. So when you come home, you actually, during the day, you're going to have a better chance to have more energy. But when you come home, guess what? You're still going to sit on that couch. You're still probably going to relax. But guess what? You achieved one hour of workout. And that's what we want to teach you. So prioritize today and think, you know what? I have to adjust that schedule. I have to do something. Maybe I need to get up in the morning and create that new habit. So the habit to develop versus habit I want. So how I can uh, teach you in this case to get up early? Well, think like this. Set up the alarm clock, and with setting up the alarm clock, right, you're going to create a habit immediately to maybe making your pre-workout drink and immediately working out. Don't do any other chores. Don't clean the house. Set up the alarm and associate getting up in the morning with working out. Because what you would want to do maybe, get up in the morning and maybe, I don't know, feed the kids, get kids to school ready, right? Other chores, other things that will occupy and take your time. But instead, you're going to do what, what you're supposed to be doing, what has to be done, right? And if you have extra time, you can do the other things. And that's what's going to lead us to the next, um, next group. Uh, a system of rewards, right? S- right. The system of rewards, we want to talk about it. And again, listen, this is based on our experience, mine and Kristen, when, we, when, when we're talking about this. This is not something uh, that we just read in a book. We, we, I came up with this idea because this is what happens to me. So in other words, I create system on the ro- rewards. I want something. I want something bad. Maybe, you know, uh, I wanted to watch a movie, but before I, I'm going to watch the movie, I have to complete a 30 minutes of reading a book. Or maybe in the afternoon, I just really want to relax and I, 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 don't, I don't know, rec- sit on a recliner chair and have a massage done. But before I do that, what I have to do, I need to work out or maybe I need to prep my food, something that needs to be done. So system of rewards, other wor- otherwise, uh, let me give you another example. So many of people when I speak to, they talk to me and say to me, well, you know, I, I really don't have time. But then with the conversation comes, they say, oh, I meet with friends. I go to the mall. Well, what about you're going to meet with your friends or go to the mall? after when you complete the workout so system of rewards you need to reward yourself somehow because there is a lot of things that you want that day but the want not necessarily is good for you right what do you kristen what what are your inputs what is your input as a coach on this subject yeah definitely definitely and i think sometimes we want to choose the easy thing, right? It's easy to just want to, it's easy to just sit on the couch and veg out and just not think of anything and whatever. (laughs) But the hard thing is getting dressed, putting your tennis shoes on and working out. Or the hard thing is prepping your food or the hard thing is, and it, the hard thing, when you do the hard thing, you feel more accomplished right away. You feel more accomplished. Yes. Yes. It not only sets you up for success for the future because you have done this good thing or you've prepped your food, so now you're ready for tomorrow, but it also just, yeah, makes you feel accomplished in that moment rather than spending an hour, two hours, whatever, sitting in front of the TV and gaining nothing from that. That's just wasted time. And not to say that you can't have time where you're doing nothing you absolutely can but make those other things a priority make sure you get them done first 
and then take that time to rest, to relax, to veg out if you need yes. to. Yes, so well said. I see Susanna is on and Carlene, thank you for joining ladies. So yes, it's easy and hard. That's so well said because we choose that easy path. And ladies and gentlemen, I've had that. And don't get me wrong, I've had those thoughts come to my head. So I'm in guilty of it because I'm a human. So humans have thoughts. Those thoughts come and go. But now how you approach those thoughts, are you going to let them dictate your day? Or you're going to think, hmm, I'm choosing the easy instead of the hard. And then that's why, that's why when you choose the hard, what's going to happen? You're going to scale in life because hard requires work it's it's the word hard it requires uh, uh, putting pre preparation it requires re requires time and that's why not everybody can do it but all of us can if we want to that's another thing like all of us can do it but you, we as humans for some reason we are always prone to the easy and that's why you always have to have that second thought of say you know what i don't feel like but i can do it but I can do it. So as you see, it's like connecting the prioritizing and system of rewards. So reward yourself. But first, you need to do what needs to be done. And if you have that list going on already, you're going to do it. And then you're going to say, you know what? Now I can accomplish this. Now I can reward myself, right? Yeah. So we're going to another group. So another point would be replacement. And I thought about this as a pretty cool thing because... You know, a lot of a lot of the clients that I would speak to, people that didn't come on board to Peak Physique, haven't worked out yet, they would tell me their morning routine or they are rushing in the morning. Maybe it happens to you. They're running. They want to get a coffee and a muffin, right? But instead, instead of going for the easy, you're replacing that bad into good. And you see it right there when you go to Delhi. Even, even the fast food have the healthier option right now. So the options are for us right now. But the options are there. But the choice is yours. So till you actually make that, that, that decision, I need to have the good, the better, and replace that, it's up to you. That's the no excuses mindset. That's when you're going to say, you know what? There is no excuses. I can't do that. I'm not going to get that muffin and that, you know, coffee that has 700 calories. I'm going to go for replacement. And these thoughts happen to me every single day. Every single day for me, it's a choice. Let me tell you. People ask me how you do it. How am I doing it? Every single day is a battle. I love sweets. If I could, I would probably live off of them. But I choose every single day. There is a choice between the bad and the good. And it's always, I try to make the right decisions and you can do it too, right, Kristen? What do you think about the replacements? Yeah, absolutely. I think that you can always find a, um, a good replacement for things. You can always make a better choice. And I think too, right now it feels like so many things are outside of our control, right? Like everything is just, we have things being taken away right and left. And it feels like things are out of our control. So we have to remember that there are things we can control. And those are our habits. That is what we put in our body. That is what we're choosing to think. That's what we're choosing to do with our time, you know. So just making sure that we remember that we do have choices. And far greater than we realize. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Some days you're like, oh, they're shutting everything down again. I have no choice but to whatever, fill in the blank. But you do, you have choices. And so again, going back to making the difficult choices. Yes, now, exactly. And again, as you realize, it's like going into the heart. Uh, but the heart always will make you more fulfilled at the end, even though it feels so hard at the moment. But once you accomplish this, you're going to feel like you move the mountains. And, 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 and another point, I think, is because now with everything that is going on, as I mentioned before, right in the beginning of this meeting, is that when the world shuts down or when business is closing down, you have less options for yourself. We, as 
as human being tends to take it in like we need to do the same. Did you realize that? That when the world's closing outside of us, we think, oh, so now I have to do the same. I have not, I am limited of my options, but you are not. You are not limited. You still have so many options. You can create yourself more options. So don't think that just because the outside world limit us, you can you cannot control. There's so many things that you it's 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 in your in your hands in your control. And the control is like eating better things, better foods, right? Creating that habit of daily workouts, putting it on the schedule, right? So now the other point, so we went over the prioritizing system of the rewards replacement, and now we're going to go into changing the association of things. And I'm going to give you my perfect example. This is, this is pretty interesting because I've done it myself. It, it hasn't been recent, but it happens sometimes and I have to always work on it. Years ago, when we would watch movies on Netflix on, on Friday or on Saturday. That's really the family time that we would do it. I would associate it watching the Netflix movies with just eating popcorn, eating a lot of fruits, just sitting down, lounging and eating bad, not bad stuff. But when you, when it comes to calculation of calories and sugar, this was a lot. And what I did, I associated, I always would literally wait for Friday till I can sit down and eat whatever I want. This is, this, that's what I used to do. And this is not a good way of thinking. So as I associated the watching movies with not the, 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 the best way of relaxation for me. So what I did, I did a replacement, which we, which we discussed this every time. And there was a clear and, and, and very honest decision that I made. And now the whole family is doing the same. We have, we watch the Netflix movies or we watch or we relax, we play games, but it's always with a, with a, a big protein shake that I drink. And that's what stops me from doing this. And this was a habit that I have to um, really create for myself. So think about things in life right now that you have a bad association with. Not necessarily this has to be uh, watching movies, and, and, and but maybe Friday night is this association with bad things. Maybe you're meeting friends every single time on Saturday. And because this group goes out and drinks, this is association of, uh, of you, these groups of friends will take you out maybe in the wrong place, in the wrong valley. I'm not saying to quit on your friends, but I'm saying that you need to think how you're going to approach that meeting and what you need to do. Eliana is sending me a message. Okay, Eliana, you can try again, go in on Zoom. So I'm sorry about this if you were waiting. We just admitted a couple of people. So think about the things in life that that you have a like bad association with. Like what's happening in your life right now? What is happening? Like, like put in the comments, like what is happening in your life right now that you think that you always have something going on maybe you eat bad or maybe you you is uh, not exercise like what is it in your life right now that spirals something in you kristen do you have anything like this oh. right now oh what is going on my mind right now is wine like i love my wine but there are times like i'll be like okay just i'll have a glass at dinner i'm coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on over. <laughs> then I this pattern has happened more than once, and I catch myself in it where it starts as like, oh, I'll just have a glass after at dinner or after dinner, and then pretty soon it's oh, I think I'll have another glass, and then a few weeks go by, and then it's like every night instead of just every once in a while, and so then I have to rein it in and be like, no, I don't need wine every night. But it is, it's like a, at the end of the day, I just want to like unwind and relax. And when I do that, drinking something that feels comforting is what I'm after. So I realized that if I replace the wine with tea, 
then it it still fulfills that need for me to be sipping on something that's relaxing, that's calming, and it's better for me. You know, yes. those two glasses of wine, I wake up in the morning and I feel a little more fuzzy headed, or I just, you know, I feel a little more groggy, but it's not the same with tea. So for me, that's something I constantly, it's always a thing, because I do, I love my wine, and I, I, yeah, I, every once in a while, I just have to shut it down and say, nope. No more, you're done, you know. And yes, then, and this is such a perfect example that Kristen said. You see, her unwinding and relaxing was always connected to this habit. And and it, the habit can be broken. So she wanted to do it, but she has decided that she is not going to want this she's gonna replace it with something else that will be uh, as as comforting for her but she's not gonna do it or uh, or other words like you can also think i had a thought right now coming in about that one and i was just uh, going to tell you something but i forgot but anyway so think what is it right now that you have in life that is causing you to do that what is it but also how did you come across this uh, this that this realization it's being being aware how you feel the next day so that's what is really going into the next the next moment as saying remembering how you feel this is a next next point that i actually uh, kristen actually connected because if you remember how this makes you feel and she actually already mentions this she said you know sometimes it would make me feel sluggish in the morning or whatever so think how this what you're doing makes you feel if you're going out with your friends or you're drinking or you're overeating or maybe um, there is some other group, not necessarily friends, maybe something else that is happening in your life, how this makes you feel. And I give you my own example. Like on Fridays, that when, when years ago, when we would watch these movies and we would eat a lot, when I would go to sleep, I would feel so uh, like not good. I would feel my stomach literally growing and getting up in the morning and I would feel always like sluggish or I would feel like um, bloated. And that's, that's the feeling that I embraced and I, I did not feel, I did not feel good. And I tried to memorize this. So it would stop me from making another decision and doing the same thing. So you see, like remembering how this will make you feel. Kristen stopped it because she, obviously she needs to get up to for coaching and other things and she cannot continue doing it. And as you see, we are so honest about it. Like we're discussing so many things right now and we, we're not hiding behind the bush. Uh, it's just, that's what it is. That's how the life is. So I think becoming honest uh, to what's around you, what's happening in the seven days, literally, literally, if you look at your seven days, I bet you the next seven days is going to be a repetition of some point what you've done it. It's not that the life is so different. Look at your seven days. Look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What is happening in those seven days? And then you're going to realize, wow, this is what I've been doing. But you need to be aware of the situation you're on. Because if you not, if you're just going to go blindfolded and not pay attention, you're going to miss on uh, red lights, right? You're going to go with the green light constantly. But where is the red light? The red light is for you to kind of stop and pause and say, wait a second, this is not good for me. So that's what we're trying to like point this for you, right? So make sure that you do that in the coming days, really, really becoming more aware of these things. And I think the last point we're going to touch on is scheduling the time on really on your schedule, things have to happen. As, as Kristen said, getting up in the morning, scheduling that time for a workout putting something on your schedule and i'm gonna give you an advice for instance of based on when i discussed to so many people recently people don't eat en enough people don't eat a lot and a common mistake for women when you don't eat a lot when you don't eat the right things and often you're gonna be gaining weight or you're not gonna lose the weight if you don't eat enough protein you are going to gain the weight not lose it so what you need to do in this case if you don't eat 
you need to put on your phone reminder every two, three hours, eat, drink. What about for those of you who do not drink water? We are made out of water. If you don't drink water, you're not going to have good metabolism. So put a reminders, put it on your schedule. What's on the schedule will happen, right? Absolutely, absolutely. When, uh, when we owned our business forward movement, training, yes. we had a gentleman who was a former Royal Marine commando and he put this thing up in the, in the break room and I, it sticks in my head and I think about it all the time. It's proper planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. <laughs> Seven P's. But that's what it's all about, right? If we want to perform optimal, optimally in life, we've got to plan ahead and we've got to prepare and we've got to, we've got to do all of those things. So scheduling things, making sure that we have a plan. A lot of times too, I, on Sunday, I like to sit down and list out the things that like my goals for the week. And I won't plan every day. I'll plan like my workouts and such, but I won't necessarily plan my whole day. But then each morning I'll sit down and be like, okay, from this time to this time is when I'm going to give myself a window and being aware to going back to awareness, being aware of when your um, kind of your optimal times are for productivity and that sort of thing. That's so important. So if you know you're super productive at a certain time of day, then get the work done that you need to during that block of time and then get up and take a walk or get up and do some chores, some things that take a little less creativity or a little less mind power and, um, and then come back to it. But schedule it in and you'll see that you can fit way more into your day than you even realize. Yes, so fantastically said. So how many of you have a planner? Just put it in the chat, put it in the comments. Do you use planner? Do you use your phone? Like I've gone to so many different planners and recently I'm, I'm using the 10X planner, but I've done Brendan Bouchard planner all different planners and I like the old ways as well, writing it down, say, uh, doing the block of time. And today I'm gonna give you also an example. That was, that was such a busy day for me. Uh, it was such a busy day that for one moment, I wanted to step out of this, what I supposed to be doing and doing something else. But then I realized that this is a priority that this is when I'm in the flow of work, that I cannot break this till I actually complete it. I can do something else. And you might have the same. Find the magic time for yourself. There is always every human being has a magic time. Every single one of us will have a magic time. When this magic happens, does this magic happens in the morning for you or the magic happens in the evening? I believe that the mornings are um, very creative. Because your brain is after your sleep when you recovered and getting up, giving yourself that, um, that, that attended attention. It's like literally for you. It might give you such a change in your schedule, in your life, in your productivity that you're going to be surprised what's going to happen. But again, scheduling, I see this coming over and over again, that, that people, women don't schedule, that you let your day run the show. Whatever tasks coming your way and other people, you just let them overpower your day. And that's what's going to happen. You have no control. So think like this also, because we obviously we have we have our families, we have kids, we have chores, we have things that we need to do. And again, I count this. It's, it's almost like a repetitive excuse when women tell me I have to cook dinner and I have to clean and I don't have time for exercise. Simple thing is rotation here. You yes, you have to cook, but prepare, do a workout and then clean the kitchen. Because guess what? If you're going to start cleaning that kitchen, you're going to be so tired that you're not going to do no workout after. So where is the priority coming? You need to assess the situation and say, you know what? Priority is my workout and I will clean that kitchen. Because, uh, you know, Rome and your house will not fall apart if the kitchen is not cleaned. However, then 
comes to the point that you're going to delegate and teach your kids how to help you. Because there's another thing that we say that should be another discussion for another day. That women don't know how to delegate, how to teach their kids to take over certain things and tasks. And there is nothing wrong with this. You are here to guide, to mentor, to influence. And you got you have to leave the good footsteps for your children. So you need to teach them. You cannot serve constantly and all the time so people take it in and not help you with anything so this is very and it's nothing selfish it's just creating a balance in your life so you need to learn this and you if you don't know how to figure it out you need to send a comment today and we need to get on the phone and we need to look at your schedule and we need to figure it out for you and i can do this because i've done it so many times with so many people it's all about all these points that we discussed today so i hope everybody that you got such some good points i would love to interact with you and anybody want to take some voice right now please raise your hand and or or put in the comments that you wanted to talk on zoom we have a couple of people here let us know if you want some input into today's discussion because you know this is a free meeting uh, I do this because I want to help you and I know how hard it is for many of you out there. You feel lost and that's why the mentoring, the coaching, figuring out with someone else that it's outside of the box, it will help you to do that. So if anybody wants to say something, please do so. Put in the comments. Uh, if not, I don't see, I don't see right now, I don't see anybody in chat right now, but we would love to hear from you. And I know that so many of you are watching and 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 uh, and participating. So if not, we again, I encourage you to do the video that to, that homework that few of you just do, just did it because it's all about networking, interaction, and giving yourself a chance to maybe interact with someone else and po putting the message out there, right? Because that's what the page is all about. So, uh, Kristen, thank you so much. This was awesome. Some good points, some great points, and uh, just a fun talk today. And we will be seeing everybody. Susie, did you want to say something? I don't know. I thought that you raised your hand. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to meet next week, and uh, we do this every week, and we have different guests, or sometimes not guests, that we can interact and talk. And I will see everybody later. Susan, uh, I see Susie, thank you so much for coming. I see Carlene over there. And Kristen, thank you again for coming on board and sharing uh, sharing your message with you. And uh, uh, I will see everybody soon. Have a no excuses evening, ladies. Yes. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Bye, everybody.